You ever been to the store and you find this beautiful controller? Nice and sexy, easy to navigate, super easy. You can find anything. Then you look at the boards and find this. No, God, please, no, 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 no. Oh, you old control boards. I swear you're older than Betty White, man. You still won't go away. I don't know what has to happen for you to go away. Controls are worst. Absolutely. No, I'll let you die. I won't let you live. I'd rather you die. Just go away. Well, I'm going to try to make life a little bit easier. I'm going to help you out how to find those AI points and RO points in these overlays. Let's get to it, man. All right, man, let's get to this example right here. So when you're going to be working out there, we're going to number circuits. You're going to be working on a system. So right now, let's just pick. There's not that many reading, but let's just pick one David. multi take me. So once you go in it, you're going to want to hit F5 setup to find out what point it is. You're just going to hit uh, F2. Just go to the next tab over and over until you go into the inputs. That's pretty much the AIs. So right here we got board two point number six. So that's what we're looking for. Usually you hit Alt I for the sensors. Uh, for this example, I'm just gonna go to number seven, sensor configuration. It's gonna go a long way. Number one inputs, and there's nothing. It's an overlay. So when you're first starting now, you look at this, you're like, what the heck's going on here? You're a little bit thrown off. So what you want to do is hit menu again, number five configuration applications. Then you're gonna go to the last one where it says Control I O. That's where you're going to find all your stuff. So again, it was board number two. We're looking for AI number two. And then point number six here just says regular temp. So you can't really for sure know if that's it. So you want to hit F5 setup and then go into it for more information. Again, you can change it here for whatever type of sensor. And number six, there it is. It says M because it's going to multiple locations. It's probably going to the float right there. If it wasn't going to multiple locations, it would just say the system number. And that's how you find an AI point for a Comtrol E2 overlay. But wait, there's more. We're not done yet. So now we're going to have to look for the ROs. Same thing, circuits. So we're going to be looking for a volunteer. Let's see. One Charlie, multi meat. So let's pick that one. So F5 setup. Now we're going to go to C7 outputs, just hit F2 tab, just to scroll, keep going, almost there. So there we go, board number one, point number seven, and it's a defrost RO, but st I mean, this still works. We're just looking for a output right now. So you can either hit Alt O for a shortcut, I just go a long way, menu, seven, number two, output definitions. Usually you see all your points right here, but they're only using one board. So again, when you're new and you see this, you're like, where's my boards? So menu, five configurations. And you can hit 216 or just scroll down, but all the way to control IO boards. That's where you want to go again. So we're now we're looking for a RO board number one. So, relay output one. I skipped it. Going back. Don't mind those overrides right there. So, we said number seven, no action. So, hit number F5 setup just to verify that is it to get more information. You can change it right here. Remember it if you like. But number seven right there. Multi tech meet defrost, so you verify that is the RO point if you have to truly work on it. And that's how you find a RO on a Comtrol E2 overlay. Hopefully, this makes your life a little bit easier, and now you can find the AIs, ROs, or whatever you're working on. Thank you so much for watching.